Hey Clashes, Superset just released a new video where they have teased the Hammer Jam event. That is right, the Hammer Jam event seems like it's going to happen really soon in the game. For everyone who has no idea what the Hammer Jam event actually is, well, that's why I'm here on my non max Tunnel 16 account. Because the Hammer Jam event is an incredible big cost reduction event which is always happening right before a new Town Hall launches. So for example, the costs of Exbos of traps and of walls are typically cut in half. This is how it was the last couple of years. As well, the duration of the event typically is around like two to three weeks. At least that's what it was the last years. And it only happens right before a new town or launches, as I just said. Which means Tunnel 17 might be already around the corner. And we have no information just yet on when exactly the hammer jam is going to start. We have just seen the first teaser, which is dedicated to the event. Which means maybe it's like, I don't know, one to two weeks, which is like filled with teasers or something until the event starts. Maybe the event already starts really soon, like even earlier. We don't know just yet. All we know is whenever a hammered event starts, it lasts around two to three weeks. And then right after, we typically have the new town hall level. So things are going to be for sure quite intense during November or maybe early December. At least that's what it looks like right now based on the timeline of this first teaser. As well, with having the teaser of hell, you have so many cost reductions, which is crazy. You always need to make sure that you have one of your builders free to upgrade your walls non-stop. It is just crazy how much you can get progress. Like, for example, a wall like this, like to level 16, is only costing then 3 million, which is considering for walls quite cheap, which sounds crazy, but it is really crazy. And remember, it is stacking with the gold pads. So for example, with the perks here of 20% of the builder boost, which is then the upgrade time, but as well as the cost reduction which you have in there as well. So if you want to make sure that you're getting the most insane value out of the event, you can get the gold pads as well. Make sure that you're supporting your favorite content creator. You can use code Itsu if you want to support me, by the way. So I really, really appreciate that. But I think what we should do next is let's do some farming attacks because, well, not everyone is having always super troops. So I would highly recommend you to go with my dragon and dragon rider strategy because that is super straightforward, super simple. And it's, by the way, as well, one of the strongest strategies in the game at the same time, which makes this perfect. So let's do some attacks. And I'm talking about this strategy right here. With my loons, with the dragons, you can as well replace the dragon riders if you want to, if you don't have them upgraded with even more dragons. But overall, just super simple and straightforward. As well, the equipments are quite simple because the giant arrow is most likely one of the most fun equipments in here and quite nice as well. And you only, only need it on level 9 because it's important to take down the sweepers. As well, how do you use it? Well, if you're angling it at a sweeper, for example, let's take the right sweeper and we're starting on this left side to snipe everything. You can as well just use, I don't know, if you're taking on a tablet, you can use your phone or you can use a book or whatever you have close by. You can just use a paper or something or whatever you have next to you and like connect the one building you're targeting, like this sweeper, to one of the outside buildings and go through the core of that building. So for us, I think this left elixir collector might be the perfect angle. So since I don't use any of that right now, I will just draw the line with my finger in my head from this sweeper towards the collector. So like just draw the line just like this and the queen should be around this area. As soon as the queen is targeting that building, we're going to use the ability and sniping both of those buildings already. Triggering the invis towers, which makes things even easier. And then let's get that king up in here. Let's get this started, this started, everything looks good. The queen most likely is going to go down, but hey, she did her job already quite amazingly, which is great. Then we're using the warden ability just like this. Obviously missing the... Uh, Missing the warn ability because uh, I'm a professional, obviously. So the town is going down. We have another clone which we can still use wherever we want. We still have the Royal Champion. Let's just use her on the back end. The Rocket Spear is such a nice quality of life thing for this strategy because it just enables you even more to just turn off your brain and turn off your head if you're attacking with this uh, with this strategy overall. It's uh, quite funny, but yeah. So 
We have a lot of troops still left. We even have the king ability still left at this point. The royal champion doing her thing. We have a ton of dragons and the loons at the top side still going. We have another freeze and this base is just completely obliterated. Without even like having super troops, having like the most complicated attack whatsoever. So it is just a super straightforward attack. Not using any super troops to make really sure that this is primarily catering towards this, this farming aspect of the game. Um, which especially during this hammer jam time is going to be quite nice like you are going to farm so many resources and I know yes you can farm with sneaky goblins as well but if you're at work for example and like you're having this quick break or something I feel like dragon attacks or the regular army attacks are always more efficient sneaky goblin farming is mostly efficient if you're doing like a training boost um, potion for example or such things but if you are um, well throwing an attack here and there and doing like some attacks over the day then I feel like those full armies like those dragon attacks are just perfect because whenever you see the first base with a lot of loot you're just going to three star it or at least get high percentage two star get all of the loot and you're happy and I will do another attack to make sure that I'm even more happy to get even more loot let's go Let's do it again. So we have the next base again an invisibility tower base, which seems to be quite popular right now. Um, at the time as I'm recording this with the event troops, um, I think especially witch golems can sometimes struggle with them a little bit. But for us, I think we're just going in again with our um, queen. I think we want to go for both sweepers. Let's just draw the line. I think we can go with... Yep, this top dark barrack should work. So again, draw the line between the sweeper and the arrow the, the building i think like this should work perfect let's go that went amazing we can have the king over here do some loons do like this 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 time around i'm trying to not miss that uh <laughs> trying to not miss that warning ability for the blimp that would be highly appreciated now the warning ability this time we actually caught everything which is amazing and then clone everything in here rage it up Tunnel is going down, balloons are swarming everywhere. And well, let's just use the Royal Champion here and support our dragons a little bit. And yeah, as I said, like it's just turn off your brain and you will find. Like this is really what this strategy is all about. It's just super, super straightforward. And at the same time as well, as this is like can be used as a farming strategy because those dragons are attacking everything. It is at the same time one of the best clan war strategies as well. So you're farming at the same time you're learning to become better at the game which is like amazing combination right like there's not many other strategies where you can do both of those things at the same time and it is just yeah you, you see it this base is just crushed has no chance of seeing another day or getting our next three star and getting obviously more loot so overall hammer jam looking forward to see when exactly it's going to start so far it was just teased mentioned a little bit in this video which was shown by supercell and well when we see that first date, then we can speculate more on what exactly it's, and, and what and when and everything about Town of 17 then later on. And if you want to be part of like me sharing all of those information, make sure that you're following this channel because then you're always up to date when it comes down to Clash of Clans, guides, meta and everything around the game. So I highly appreciate that. But now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.